This is wonderful that you were able to come out and be with us today. And you are? Becky Baker. Becky Baker. And there's something you do that's totally unique. And what is that? Well, I crochet. And you crochet everything. Pretty much. Not everything that's <laughs> available, but uh, I do a little bit of everything, yes. Yeah. Well, I think it's really neat the things that you do do. And they're not ordinary crocheted. I mean, you do do shawls like this. Yes, and this is... This is a this is a butterfly shawl, and I don't know how well you can see the butterfly behind right. it, um, but that's just a very simple version of a shawl. You know, I've done one that have the pineapple designs in them. I've also done a lot of the uh, mandala little vest um, in all sizes, adult to infant to tea. Oh wow! Um, I have done a lot of those. Well, now, the things that I think that are, are so cool, and I mean, I love this. I think it's beautiful. But you do, out of the ordinary, like a scrubby for your face or well, dishes. Yes, and I, I do a larger version of this for the dishes, which right. is a little more coarse. Um, you don't want to use it on your skin. It tears my finger up to make them. Imagine. But um, this is like a body exfoliator, mm -hmm. and you don't want to use it more than once a week, but just a gentle around the face once a week keeps all the dead skin off, and oh believe it goodness. or not, we shed our skin every 28 days. So this is what keeps you smooth and glowing, and I, I have really dry skin, and I would be probably a mess without those. Oh, I, I think it's neat. I really like that. Thank you. You can make them in any color any they color, want. Any color. I can make them in wild colors. I can make them in solid colors. Um, if I can buy the cotton in that color, then I can make it, and they are 100% cotton. Right. So, it's all natural fiber. Um, they last for a really long time. You could probably use them daily for a year before they would wear out. Oh my goodness. I, I have a daughter that would like to have that. Uh, now this is, I find this, this is different. And what is this? Well, I get excited about these. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I get so excited about these. And let me tell you why. Um, I hate washing dishes. I hate scrubbing dishes especially. And you know, I made a few pot scrubbers and I bought a few pot scrubbers and I met a lady at um, a craft show that I was doing and she said have you tried this stuff and I'm like no I haven't she said order a roll online if you can't get it anywhere local she said you will throw everything else out <laughs> so I was like no way so I made one and I used it to wash my dishes and I was like oh my gosh when the glass pans come off and they're clean none of that residue nothing just was swish 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 so then I decided to use one on my headlights on my car and it worked and I was so excited oh so my now goodness. I mean I just get all excited about these because I'm telling you if you use one you really won't want anything else and I've used the same one um, to do dishes for two months now and it still looks just as fresh as the day that I made it oh, I throw it at the wash once a week that's something that's really tough to get off you're talking about the glassware that has the spray Pam on it mm -hmm. when you bake in that yeah it's non-stick but it leaves a residue on there it does and the great thing about these is I don't know if you can really see them on the camera but there's like a braided stitch in there yes. so when you scrub you don't have to use a lot of effort that works just that's like a, a wire brush right to get it off um, that is so cool. They're fantastic. So once I started making these, I kind of quit making the other ones because these are so much better. <laughs> and you even you even have a really cute little thing that you do for little kids. I, th I think this is really pretty the way that that you've made these the little little hat and the the booty. So this is more traditional. It is, and you know, I used to laugh because my grandma would make this stuff, and people would say, "Oh, that's old timey," but you know what? It's awesome. After I started this, my friends are like, why didn't you make that for my kids? Well, I really was kind of busy having my own kids and doing my own <laughs> you didn't have time. thing. No, um, and I love it, and I can do sets. I do sets with hats, booties, and a blanket. I do sets with um, um, a hat and a sleep sack. If Yes. Oh, I forgot about the baby. Yeah, so we have the baby. These swaddle sacks or cuddle sacks, um, sleep sacks. They are really popular. Um, this one is actually a spring summer. You can tell it's real light and it's real airy. Um, it's enough to keep them cozy and comfortable, yet uh, keep the chill off. So. It, it, like, what well, if you go for a walk in the evening? In the evening time, especially. And they yes. can still move inside of Right. It. Or if you have your air tight. conditioner cranked down to 65, oh, some they might get do. a little chilly. Yeah. Yes. Some people do. I, I don't like it 65. I get too cold. And then this is really cool for the teenage, well, not just teenage, but 
I was going to say, leggings. I see a lot of ladies wear yeah. these. Um, and you mostly see them with tall boots, but believe it or not, you can wear them with short boots too. Um, I prefer to take custom orders on these because if you're going to wear them with tall boots, I'd like to get your calf size. And if you're going to wear right. them with ankle boots, they need to be about seven and a half inches. And of course, you know, there's a wide variety of colors in the spectrum. Right. Um, so I actually do have a swatch board so that if people did want to come down, they could look at my swatch board and custom order what and they, they wanted. An we can do hats and scarves to match, you know, if you know you're going to have oh, a, yeah. a brown coat all winter or a white coat all winter or... You know, if you've got a black one and a brown one and a red one, we can hook you up with something that will definitely <laughs> You can work. make it all match and go together. Right. You can coordinate it all. And I know that it is summertime, and a lot of my items are fall and winter items, but the bad thing about doing this craft is I cannot blink and have it finished oh, overnight. No. So once you start rolling into fall, if it's you want something, too late. I have to tell you, this is what I've already got finished, and if you like to buy this, it's great, but if you want a custom order, I might not have it until two weeks after Christmas. That, I was going to so. say, if they're wanting a Christmas order for any of this stuff, for and this is Opulent Creations, and if they want to get it ordered before they have, a, have it for Christmas, when is your cutoff My for cutoff Christmas? for Christmas is Next Black week? Friday. Oh, no, Black Friday. <laughs> Black Friday. Um, within reason. Now, if I get a thousand people that call me and say, hey, I need this, um, it may be a little bit sooner than that. Right. But um, most of my items, aside from the larger items like shawls and blankets, are usually a 24-hour turnaround. Now, I might not have the material available, and I might have to order that online, or I might have right. to travel to buy that. And in that case, it may take three or four days or mm -hmm. a week. But most of the items that I make are a one-day turnaround. Right. Now, you can also make things that match. Yeah. As far as like your dish, these are dish towels over here. Well, washcloths is what I, actually, you can use these on your body too. Um, they're a little bit bigger than you think. They're loft lofty they're thick um, a lot of people use the knitted ones but once they use the crocheted ones they change their mind uh -huh. uh, these just last longer and they're a lot thicker now when you do throw them in the dryer they will draw up a little bit right but it creates once it does it creates these little bumps so again that clean that clean and simple let them air dry they air dry pretty quick after you use them once or twice throw them in the washing machine get as new uh -huh. and they will last uh, about a year. I think that on, um, on an average they last about a year with regular use. Right. Now, if you think they're pretty and you put them away to, for decorations, which a lot of people do, you probably have them for a year or two or three or right. four or until you decide to start using them. <laughs> um, but I do I do sets as well. Mm -hmm. So this is a pot holder and this is a washcloth and this is a scrubby. So, you know, I can do these in red sets or red white and blue you know right. we've got a little bit of that going on you know for fourth of july um they just need to tell you what their color they scheme just is need for to let house. me know and, and then, we can even do the black and white and gray which uh, i don't have right. a black scrubby right now but you know we have some oh yeah and any color that you see you know in the cottons right i can do a pot holder the same way i can do it variegated i can do it plain um i never can tell what i like other people don't and what other people like i would think wow i'm really never you thought know, of I'm, that. Yeah. I'm surprised yeah because everybody has their own style and their own taste um and i do a lot of custom orders too so if you see something out there like these way cool ponytail hats which i make and people are wearing these year round um, I think I'm going to keep this one for myself because I wear my hair up at work and I really like these colors. Um, well, I can make it. You know, ladies that are out walking in the wintertime or, you these know. These are perfect. Yeah, because you, you just put your ponytail through there and mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about. Or a bun if you wear a bun. On. And it's, it's better than a snood because you can just mm -hmm. tie all your hair up and then it pokes out the top and then you don't have to worry about trying to jam all your hair no. in. Or the ponytail pushing it off your head. Exactly. Um, my daughter has a few slouchy beanies, which I make too. I didn't bring any of those. And she wears them year round because she has a lot of hair. So when she wants it up off of her neck and doesn't want to wear a ponytail, she just rolls it all up and she puts it in her hat. And it's kind of cute. But, oh my goodness, yeah. that's so cool. Well, is there anything we haven't covered that you do? I mean, this, I know there's more because I've seen it outside. You're at the farmer's market every Every Saturday, Saturday morning. from 8 o'clock. Well, we set up at 8, 
right. around about 8, um, and it runs till 12 o'clock. We usually start about a quarter till 12, packing stuff up just because we need to move out for yes. traffic. But if you get down there at 9 o'clock in the morning, come see, you know, all the things that we offer at the farmer's market. And I'm not the only artist down there. Right. There are several. Yes. And it's a great place to get fresh fruits and vegetables. It is. Um, the vegetables are coming in now, so come early. And Now, this is the farmer's market in Madison, Indiana, down by the fountain. So if you come in on Main Street from the, from the east, you're going to come down and you're going to find the fountain. It'll be on your right, and then if you're coming from the west, you're going to come into town, and it'll be on your left when you come in. So the farmer's market has all kinds of stuff, and this is Opulent Creations, mm -hmm. and how did you get started in this? I didn't ask you that. Well, my grandmother, I used to stay with her during the summer, and... Uh, she taught me. She would make those ugly house shoes that, had the, <laughs> and they were they were they were ugly, but they were the most comfortable house shoes in the world. So I wanted to learn, and I think she gave me the yarn and the needle and said, "Here, sit here with this hook, and practice just to get me out of her hair." Because I would make a row this long, and she would say, "Your stitches are too tight, or your stitches are too loose," and I would do it again. But one thing that I can say out of appreciation is, I'm not the fastest crocheter in the world. And I never will be. I don't think you have to hurry. These are, not, these are very nice. I, I do take a lot of pride. I try very hard to make sure that all my stitches are uniform and, and, and very consistent even. and quality. Yeah. Um, that's the backside, and you can't, only a trained eye would probably catch the seam in that. I can see the seam, but that's only because my grandmother used to do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. So um, it, it, they are they are uniform. Um, I'm very careful about making sure that I use solid pieces of thread right. so it's not going to ravel it out. You're not going to have five or six strings right. hanging out. Um, you know, I just work really hard to give a quality product. Now, if they want a baby item, you need they need to let you know ahead of time on that too. Not the day the baby's born. No, but, you, you probably ought to pre-plan a little bit and, right. you know, if you don't know if you're getting a boy or you don't know if you're getting a girl, there's plenty of opportunities for unisex items out there that you don't have to get the mint green and you don't have to right. get the yellow. You know, um, more modern things this year, red, white, and blue works great for any child. Mm -hmm. um, bright, bold, lime green is Orange. perfect for, yes, yeah. perfect for either a boy or a girl. Oh, um, wow. Paired up with, you know, a blue, they really do work for everybody. Well, this is great. I, t I have watched you out here at the farmer's market, which is right beside our office, so I get to watch them every Saturday morning. There are people that come in, and they can't believe what you've done. They, they're they just ooh and ah, and it's like, I didn't realize you could do that with crochet. And yeah. so you've, you've actually come up with a, a unique. Yeah, well, and what really got me started with the craft fairs and doing the farmer's market, this was just a side gig and I'd make some stuff and make a few bucks and it was great, but my daughter's going to college in the fall. Right. So this is how I'm going to pay her tuition. <laughs> So, hopefully. So, if, if you want to help a child. Yeah, if you want to help a child. <laughs> you need to come down and, and look at this stuff. But I think it's beautiful, and, and I Thank really you. do appreciate you being here with us. Well, I appreciate you having me. I you're really welcome. do. I was a little flabbergasted oh. by the invite, but I really do appreciate oh, it. Oh, you're welcome. So, thank I think I just think it's wonderful that you took time to be with us today. Looking for that special gift for your favorite outdoor enthusiast? Or for yourself, you'll find it here. DG Power Sports has all your outdoor sporting supplies and parts. We're located at 10390 Highway 421 North in Milton, Kentucky. We're just two miles from Madison, Indiana and only a short distance from the Dirty Turtle Off-Road Park and Dakota Racetrack. We are open Tuesdays through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I am Darren Gross. Thank you for your support, and I look forward to seeing you. 
Brent, we're really glad you're able to come down here and talk to us today. You have a really cool event going on. And what is that? Yeah, we're doing a benefit ride. Um, we're going to be sponsoring a company called or a, a Care for Kids Inc. They are a uh, organization that raises money for basically local kids with uh, childhood cancer. Um, it's a really good organization. They do more than just the medical bills. They help with the family with different events between different things between gas and even gifts for the kids or even some of their relatives and, and help with some of the expenses that the insurances won't cover. Now you all do a motorcycle ride which is Anderson Sales and Service. Yeah. You all do this motorcycle ride once a year. Yeah, yeah. We've, so we've been yeah, we've been doing it the second Saturday of every okay. August. Yeah. Now, how many does this make? This is how many this year? Oh, um, I'm well prepared I, it's been for that so one. many. I don't yeah. can't remember either. I can't remember for sure. I, it, we've been doing it for over ten years, and I can't right. remember if this would be the eleventh or twelfth year doing it. But yeah, we've we've had a really good turnout every year for it. Um, right. And the money's always gone to some local oh, yes, yes. charity yeah. organization to help yeah, we, kids. We've known different organizations besides Care for Kids, but the last, this I think is their third year sticking with them. It, they're a really good organization. Oh, that's awesome. Now, with this route that you're all going to be taking, is it going to be mainly highways or country roads or how are y'all going to go well we're, we're, we we stay we try to stay away from the interstates so we right. don't get on those it, you know it's a combination of highways and county roads now we try to make sure they're good roads and safe roads for the motorcycles and stuff and uh, yeah we are heading out of madison we're heading out um out toward through canaan and going to go out to 129. oh that's awesome yeah there. It's beautiful. Now, how many miles are you going to travel? Uh, when I mapped it out, it ended up being 110 miles. Oh, that's trip. not bad yeah, for a yeah. day's ride. Yeah. That'll be good. And yeah. you've got stops on the way. Yeah, we do two stops. We just stop once for gas and then usually stop for ice cream. This time we're going to be stopping at that uh, ice cream place in VV. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been there yet. It, it, it's a good place, yeah. We've, we've stopped there before. So we'll have to we'll have to take some extra change to buy an ice cream. Oh, that's bag. right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Now, what time are you going to be leaving on Saturday? Um, we uh, we do signups uh, from from uh, eleven to one on the it'll be August twelfth. Yes. But uh, we we the paperwork says we leave at one. It's really about ten after one because we got to close down the store and then right. and then get lock out. up. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's cool. Now then, it's it's August when August, August the 12th, 12th, Saturday, August the 12th. Now for the ride on that Saturday, can people come in during the week and sign up, and then come to the ride on Saturday? Or do they have to sign up Saturday? Oh yeah, it's no problem to come in and sign early. Um, we've actually usually have a couple people to stop by and donate for the ride that don't even go, you know, just to help the organization out. Yes, yeah, I've, I've been there when a lot of people have done that. Yeah. They couldn't make it and they just come in and sign yeah. up and leave. But that's great that you let people do that. Now, is there anything that we need to make sure people know, like a website and a phone number for them to get in contact with um, you? Well, the phone number there at Anderson's is 812-273-4262. And the website is andersonssales.com. Now, Anderson's is plural and so is sales. Well, that's great. We'll we'll make sure we get that up for you so that everybody can know about it. So now, this tell them again the date. It's August twelfth. Yes, uh, that's Saturday, and we'll be pulling out at one o'clock. At one o'clock, no later than ten after. Yeah, that's unless right. Unless somebody yeah. can't lock a door. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, if you really like motorcycle rides, I want to tell you these guys are great to ride with. So we we always go, and I have a good time with them. So if you want to make it out and have a good motorcycle ride and have some ice cream and help the kids out at the same time. You might check out Anderson Sales and Service Motorcycle Ride. Hi, this is Andrew Forster. I am the Community Relations Director for the City of Madison, Indiana, and we are excited to talk about the Stellar Communities designation. We're one of three finalists that are in the state competition, and so we want the community support in helping decide what kind of projects we're going to move forward with. 
So you can get on www.madison-in.gov. Go ahead and give your input. We'd like for you to uh, be a part of that. And you can check out our Stellar Project website. It's just www.stellarmadison.org. Learn more about it. Take a survey. And we want to try to show uh, the state of Indiana that we are a stellar community. So thanks so much. And we hope you'll uh, be a part of what we hope will be a stellar future for the Madison community.